morning. It's Monday. Uh, we had a great celebration of Christ's resurrection yesterday. It was great to see everybody, uh, see your faces, and uh, just share together. So that's cool. So one of the things I love to do is look at events that happened after the resurrection. And I just, I don't think they're more important, but when Jesus spoke, after the resurrection, it would seem like with that limited amount of time that what he said would be very important. So he has this encounter with Peter. And uh, Peter's asking him some questions and some of the other disciples are there. And we're in John chapter 21. And his response to Peter uh, got my attention. Uh, it's 21-22. Uh, and it says, Jesus said to him, If I will that he remain till I come, what is that to you? Follow me. Now that is just kind of a blunt statement. Uh, he had asked Jesus uh, because Jesus had told uh, Peter that uh, he gave him some things and all the, the interpretation of it was that Peter would be a martyr for him, that he would die. And so Peter's kind of getting that processed in his mind. You can look at those verses ahead of it. And he's processing in his mind and he looks over at John, who Jesus loved very much. He said, what about that guy? What's going to happen to him? Uh, because uh, didn't want to be in a, a, in a loan and uh, just kind of checking it out because that's kind of an amazing statement and kind of shook Peter. And uh, Jesus tells him at that point, Look, you follow me. It's none of your worry what I do with someone else. If John, which has been 2,000 years, would have lived to 2,000, that's really not your concern. Your concern is to follow me. Wow. I looked at that and went, wow, that's big for me. Uh, follow him, Kent. Uh, not based upon the situation you're in. Not based upon things going well, things going good. But does my heart desire that relationship with Jesus above all things. Who is he to me? Is he everything? And he was telling Peter, don't get sidetracked on circumstances. Did someone else get a better call? Did someone else uh, get a worse situation? That's really not what I base my faith in following him on. I base it on my love for Christ. He wanted to, for Peter to get that and to learn that. Uh, not just to get through each circumstances, not just hoping that maybe may we get to get back to normal, not just hoping that everything works in my life or it's not working now, I'm just going to hang on until it gets better. Getting better is not the issue. The issue is follow Him. Uh, in our family devotion and time together, we let our grandkids uh, watch uh, the Hiding Place with us. We had watched it years ago. All of our kids had seen it with Corey Ten Boom. Just an amazing story. Her sister, Corey's sister, Betsy, says something while they were in prison. And she says, we can testify now that Jesus will come to the darkest, deepest pit because we were there and he met us. May that be how I follow, that wherever I'm at, whatever circumstance I'm in, May I see Jesus there with me. May people know that he's there with me so that I can testify to anyone in any situation, whatever you're going through, Jesus will be there with you because I saw it myself. How's your walk doing? How's your faith going? Uh, God will reveal those things to you. One of the things I'm working with now is some things are going on in my life and I'm going, I want to be faithful in that I just don't want to endure that. Uh, how's your walk? Are you in step with Jesus? Lord, use this to help me and my brothers and sisters follow you as you ask Peter in Christ's name. Amen.